So today we're going to be replacing our normal thermostat with a Nest thermostat, the Nest Learning thermostat. Uh, we do have the Nest thermostat right here, and this is it right here. I just bought this. I will leave all the link and the price for you guys down below where I got this. I do have a face plate in case I need it. And I did go ahead and get some adapters. And these, what these do is, if you don't have the C wire, then you're going to have to use a 24 volt um, transformer. And you can plug this and connect it to your, to your nest. And that will give you power. If you, because if not, every couple of, uh, let's say every week or every other week, you're going to, you're gonna lose power in your battery. So we're gonna go ahead and put this one on right now. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is to go ahead and turn off the power. Luckily, it's right behind here, so we're just gonna turn this off. It just went off. Or you can turn off your main breaker. This is gonna be on because this is battery powered. Let's kinda just pull this out. You can see this has battery, so this is always gonna be on. These are small, flat, so we're gonna just slacken this up. So now we can pull these wires out. Actually, somebody did somebody did have a bridge right there. There we go. So that's out. Get the plate out. And the plate is out. So here we go. Nestle in thermostat. Work with Google Assistant. So you can just shout out OK Google and tell it to change your temperature. Here we go, we have everything from the box. You can see it even tells you where to put the wire and everything. So this is what we really need. We have the screws, it even comes with screwdrivers. Oh, it comes with a plate too. I didn't have to buy a plate. So it comes with a plate, plate and extra screws and everything you need is in there guys. This is really, this is pretty, pretty impressive. Okay, so I'm gonna put the plate on. Make sure it's straight. The wire connector and that's where you want to make sure that you remember which wire goes with which luckily I have it kind of written on there but you have the red the green white on there so we're gonna go ahead and put our plate on now so now we can pass it through and the screws are, I'm gonna use the screws to hold this down to hold that down also so it's gonna be right here like this. So we gotta pass that in. And just put more of the screws in. Can hold it in place for me. There you go. So that's holding it for you. White goes in W. There we go. And you can see when you put it in, it just clip in place. Red. Red goes in red. Go. And then the blue. Blue goes in. So we have all the wires as it's supposed to be. The blue goes to Y. The green goes to G. The white goes to W1. And the red goes to R H. So that's all we have it here. Now we do have the adapter. And it comes. You can see it comes with the wire. And we're gonna try to figure out a way to put this this in. So I need to get this wire in there. I have a drill a hole at the back. I'm gonna pass this through, but you can pass this wherever you want. You're gonna have to make it look nice or figure out how you want to to have that work for you. But so I'm gonna pass my just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the C slot. I'm just gonna press this and push this in here. And I'm gonna put this in the R C slot on this side. Just like that. And then, okay, so I'm gonna use the same cable from that I cut a piece of it. And I'm gonna create a bridge from R C to R H. So just make sure you make it really thin. We can get those two together. Press that down. Here we go. So we have that in there. 
and we're gonna do the same thing for the red RH I'm gonna push this one in first because it's a little softer and then I'm gonna push try to push the red in it's a harder wire so there we go that works and again we can push all the extra stuff inside like that so we have that bridge and that bridge is to make sure that the air condition and the heater work if not you're not gonna get both things to work so there we go now we're gonna put our cover on and try it out okay we're gonna put this back on there we go So now that we have that, I'm gonna go to equipment. You're gonna tap on that. And we can see we have power, we have 24 volts come on here. Nothing is grayed out, so everything is good. We have the fan is on, the cool is on. Um, so that's good. You can click continue and you can go ahead and you can run through, do a test and you can test your heating, your cooling, your fan to make sure everything is working. And if that's working, that's good. Then you wanna go to done continue done here and then you want to go back to your nest app and if your battery is not charging this will show you low battery so right now this is charging so that's working so we're really good to go so that's all it is guys that's all that's how i i fix mine again so this is the box right here it comes with it comes with the wire and all the pins to connect it to a wall if you want to run it to the wall, guys.